15 first alert weather forecast. Well, it's definitely a breezy one on this Saturday. All across the area, we're seeing wind speeds between 20 or 10 and 20 miles per hour, even exceeding 20 miles per hour in some locations coming from the north and west but it's also creating a little bit of fire danger here and there so be mindful with any outdoor burns you're planning today and uh, we're certainly not the only ones across the region enjoying a windy saturday because basically all across the upper midwest those winds are coming in at a pretty good clip and they're all coming from the north and west all across the region and of course that means that we're also looking at some cooler temperature here's a look at the high temperatures for today, obviously the 84 in Ellsworth uh, is not a correct reading. And actually most of the numbers you see around here are from much earlier today, around uh, midnight for example. Eau Claire is a good example of that. And actually after that, temperatures have decreased quite a bit during the day today. Most of us are uh, right now are in the low to mid 40s. So definitely quite a bit different than what we've seen here the past few days. The winds are going to calm down a little bit into the overnight hours tonight. They uh, will still be quite noticeable coming in from the north and west. And as we go into tomorrow already by daybreak, we'll start to see those winds kick back up once again. Still from the north and west and also tomorrow afternoon, these numbers are probably not going to be as high as what we're seeing today. But still 20 to 25 miles per hour uh, is a possibility. We could still see some gusts over 30. So also for tomorrow, be careful when you're out there driving. And also keep a very close eye on your, uh, any loose objects you may, may have lying around your uh, house. Of course, you don't want them to end up in uh, your neighbor's yard. And it's going to take us well into the overnight tomorrow night before the winds are going to start to calm down a little bit. But actually, also as we go to next week, we're still looking at multiple days with some of those breezy conditions. And it's going to have uh, some effects on our temperatures as well, because especially tomorrow and Monday, temperatures are going to be below average. Highs only in the 30s. We haven't seen that in a really, really long time. We are going to rebound again on Tuesday, temperatures back above average. Don't get too excited though, because for the rest of next week and especially towards next weekend, temperatures are favored to be below average again. Looking at a little bit of a uh, pattern fl uh, flip here towards the end of the upcoming week. So a little bit of a recovery on Tuesday, but it may be just a one up. As we go to the overnight tonight, we have a little bit of uh, sunshine out there this afternoon, but more clouds are going to drift in. Uh, through the overnight tonight. Even a few flurries, not completely out of the question, but I do think the better chance for that will be further off towards the east, closer to that area of low pressure that is uh, further off towards our north and east. Temperatures are going to drop quite a bit compared to what we've seen recently. 21 for a low, and those winds are still going to be on the breezy side, even though they're not expected to be as strong uh, as today. For tomorrow, we're starting off with uh, plenty of cloud cover, but luckily as we go into the afternoon, those clouds start to break apart. So actually for tomorrow, it's not looking too bad at all in terms of sunshine. But yes, those temperatures are going to be on the cooler side of things, only in the mid-30s for our highs Sunday and Monday. And then there's, a, there's the recovery day on Tuesday with highs in the upper 40s. And then towards the end of the week, that's really where our uncertainty starts to increase. Temperatures are going to drop, probably. That's where uh, things stand right now. Back into the 30s for our highs. We're also keeping an eye on a potential storm system towards the end of the week. We've seen that multiple times already over the past few weeks where those storms don't really come to fruition for us here, unfortunately. Maybe this time it will be different. And maybe also this time with those cooler temperatures, we can factor in some snow in here as well. Definitely something we have not seen in quite a while. Yeah, definitely a lot of things to keep our eyes out yes. for. Thanks so yeah. much, Kevin.